call this meeting of the High County Fiscal Court to order on the 11th day of April, 2023. It just passed 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Helen Deaver to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. God, please bless these gentlemen as they go about their monthly, weekly duties, uh, protecting Ohio County, uh, make sure they're doing the right thing. Uh, please bless our fellow fallen officers in Louisville and bless the people of Louisville and the people of the United States. Uh, we desperately need your help. Put your arms around us and uh, show us your mercy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, 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 Merritt Bates Thomas from the Green River District Health Department to come and give us a presentation. Thank you, Judge Johnston. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight and appreciate uh, the support from Ohio County Fiscal Court in years past. For at least the last five years, I've worked with Miranda and Judge Johnston to get proclamations uh, acknowledging November as Diabetes Awareness Month. And when Judge Johnston and I were talking in November, uh, I indicated that I did offer out the opportunity to speak before fiscal court. He said, when would you like to come visit? So it's a little bit delayed from what we originally talked about, but thank you all so much. I've shared with you the most recent infographic that our State Department for Public Health provides around the incidence of diabetes. And then I also want to relate that to the local incidents around just specific percentages. But you can see here the numbers, when you really say them out loud, are staggering. And if you've ever seen our diabetes proclamation, it relates these numbers. And to hear them read makes them so significant because probably everybody here in this room knows someone who's been impacted by diabetes. And the way it can really pretty much uh, take on a control of their bodies because of its impact on all the systems throughout the body, primarily the cardiovascular system left unmanaged, unchecked, without education, without the meds needed, that many times are staggering in their cost, uh, it really is difficult for people to successfully self-manage their diabetes. So your acknowledgement and willingness to let me speak to you tonight is greatly appreciated. Uh, uh, almost 500,000 Kentuckians have been diagnosed with diabetes. When you think of that, that's half a million people in the Commonwealth. That's significant. That's about one out of three adults that are estimated then to have pre-diabetes. That's not diabetes. That's diabetes before it's full blown. And a lot of the work we are doing now within the program is working to create awareness around pre-diabetes, the significant impact that diabetes can have on your life. Therefore, if you can arrest it, before it, it takes hold pretty much, then you can really work to significantly reduce the incidence of chronic complications. And those chronic complications listed a little bit more than halfway down. Management of diabetes can reduce the risk of uh, amputation of, or the loss of toes, feet, legs. It can reduce the risk of the broad spectrum of heart disease kidney failure, stroke, and blindness. And those are the main culprits in terms of uh, really looking at destroying the quality of life for people who are managing or attempting to manage or feel at a loss to manage their diabetes. Kentucky has the 13th highest diabetes mortality rate in the country, and that's significant. Uh, I like to think it's because of the work of our Department for Public Health and programs like ours in Green River District that we fare better than the other 12 states uh, that are ahead of us in an area where you don't want to be ahead of us. Uh, 
What I'd like to share though more significantly is that about 13.3% of Kentuckians as of 2021 had been diagnosed with diabetes. The numbers by county, uh, because we do like to track those and relate them then to that statewide incidence, Ohio County had uh, a percentage of 10 and a half of, of its residents being diagnosed with diabetes. So we're faring better and below the average, but again, it takes ongoing awareness. It takes a commitment on the part of folks like yourself, your willingness to help us create that awareness and get important messaging before the public. And it may not seem like a big deal to have a proclamation, but uh, it is a big deal. It's a big deal to us, and we do call attention to that and your willingness to do so annually. Are there any questions that I can answer for you all? We appreciate the handout. We think it's, it's pretty, pretty, uh, uh, you know, pretty much on point. Well, and if they say a picture paints a thousand words, as we've shifted to the infographic, I think it makes it much more relatable. It's easier to hone in on specific points and key areas that are of importance. And at any point, if you do have additional questions, I'll be seeing Judge Johnston, I guess. We have a standing uh, date every November for that proclamation. But if you all have any questions for us at any time in the interim, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or anyone at the District Health Department. Appreciate you much. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Uh, before you have the uh, minutes of the March 28, 2023 meeting, need a motion to approve. Go on. Was one change you said uh, a wording on something? No, that, that's going to be, that was from several meetings back. Okay. We're going to have to re redo it. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. Second McKinn. Any further discussion? Any corrections or additions? Discussion, corrections or additions? Big none, all favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Before you have the bills claimed, payments and transfer and including a late list. There's no move for discussion. Motion by. I'll second for discussion. discussion. Second by. Jason Bull. Discussion. And what is they take money out of the road materials into costumes? What did they take out of that? What page are you on? What transaction? Page one. The budget transfers? Yes. What's the amount? The dollar amount? Uh, six twenty-five. That's not a lot, but it is considering we don't have enough money in the road construction materials to finish all year. That's that's the budget transfer they requested. Who requested it? The road department. They had to pay for the uh, for it somewhere, so that's where they had money. Had to pay what? Mm -hmm. The road department had to pay for it, so that was where they just chose to pay it from. Ain't they got a budget? Who asked you to? No, I mean, I don't know that it came through me, but I'm saying that's common practice. You'll see it in all departments. You'll see transfers within the departments as the department had requests. I just don't see taking out the construction materials when we know we don't have enough to. Who asked you to take that out, Ann? Chandra Smith, and I'm sure she was instructed to by Nick, the road supervisor. I've got the paperwork right here where she requested it. They have to pay for their stuff. It has to come out of their account, Larry. So that's this is in the conference. This is taken out of the road department, put in something else. I know it no, it's within the road the, department. It's taken it's out them. of materials and put into the road department conference where they went to a conference. It's all within the road department. Any 
Any other discussion? Seeing that, all favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Treasurer's March uh, report, financial statement. We just need to uh, show that we got it. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Any uh, further discussion? Our questions for the treasurer? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, clerks march uh, before it, same way. Make motion to acknowledge. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Larry. Any discussion? Being none, all first say aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Resolution 25 is. Charlie says Kentucky Department of Homeland Security for a grant. Okay. We need, we need to uh, do a resolution to allow Charlie to apply for a grant. Uh, and uh, it is resolution 2023-25 uh, is Homeland Security. Which is good. Justin's already read. And uh, Justin's already read the resolution. So I, I would love a motion to pass that so he can try to get us some money from that. A motion to, uh, for a uh, motion. Um, Resolution 2023-25. I'll make a motion for discussion, yeah. Remember it. Motion for, by Jason. Second. Second McKinnon. Explain this a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's a Homeland Security grant for new radios for all law enforcement P25s, which any Homeland Security grant now across the United States, they're requiring you to get P25 to compatible where you can talk to the mm -hmm. school board, state police, federals, or locals. So this is 45 radios where we can do all Beardown, Hartford, Centertown, Sheriff's Department, and school board. We can talk to them all. And as you see, I've got the resolution, the amount of the quote is 30, 303,000. <laughs> oh, pretty see that. Okay. Uh, okay, I see it. And it's 100%, so we, there's no money out of our pockets, just the legwork to get through the grant. Yeah. When uh, somebody like us passing out money, whether we believe it or not, we need our part of it, you know. So, That's, what did you see the amount on there, though, you said? Well, I know it because I, I got the quote. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Well, I'm fine. It'll let me on there before you turn it in on it. We got it on our packet that turned in. I think y'all just got the resolution. Is this 30 cents? It's not 30 cents. It's 30 cents. Okay. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Resolution passed. Next, Charlie, why you're up. Uh, but you remember, a few, uh, some of you remember. A few meetings ago, when we were uh, looking over a, uh, awarding the bids for uh, for the uh, clean up the river from the tornado damage, we uh, had him to look back and make sure that a really low bid did cover everything that the bid asked for. He found out it did. Uh, I thought our motion was made in a way that it would took care of that, but we need a motion to accept that bid. And who is it and how much? It's Horner uh, excavating. Uh, Y'all asked me. Now, first of all, I apologize. I wasn't here last one, but we had like everything break loose at one time. And I, I apologize for that. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Horner came in. They did uh, the bids on this, and uh, basically their bid for like site four. One of the bids is. 98, one was 130, and the other one was 50,000. Site six was 175, 120, and 24. Y'all asked me to make sure to go back, make sure they bid apples to apples. And when I called them, talked to them, they came in, looked at it. Uh, they did. They actually sent me an email confirming they stand behind their bid. 
Uh, another, somebody else asked me to see about keeping the money local instead of having an outsider do it. I've asked Penny to come in here from NCRS, talk if y'all got questions on that, if y'all want to know. Because one of y'all did ask, and so I just want how that works. But it is a large know. amount difference, correct? Yes, sir. It is. Uh, we don't go local unless it's a small amount difference. Uh, I'll just give you an example. I mean, like I just read, site four, uh, one of the bids is 98000 One of the bids is 135000 Horner was 50000 Site six, uh, one site, or one bid was $175,000. Uh, one was 120. The other one was twenty four thousand. Horses cut me out of. Uh, da, da, da. I have to look on here. Uh, in their bid packets, I can give you a bid packet, Larry. Oh, Georgia. 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 But there was a big, significant amount of bid. So, uh, I say I don't know how it does look cool. Was that the only two sites? Yes, sir. It's only two sides. We got, already got money for all the other sites. And I think I think that we had agreed that if this is that way, we'd make a motion to go ahead and accept those that uh, uh, Horner Excavating's uh, bid. So I guess the payment comes after jobs. I mean, how do they? The way it works is uh, once y'all decide who we go with, I'll send them a, a submit a request to the NCRS. They'll send me one back saying that we got the money. Then on the whoever it is, like in this case, y'all went that way, I'll have a bid meeting with uh, Ms. Penny and Ryan, then the, the contractor will come in here, we'll have a bid meeting, then we'll go from there. And when the job gets done, this guy has to sign off on it. Then from that day, they have 45 days. We have 45 days to pay them. And time so those payment goes to after you sign off on correct, it? Correct, after he signs off. And so far, off. I believe we've got the money before we paid any of them, haven't we? Correct. Yes. We it got is. it before we paid it. It has been taking about 30 days for, for us to make that payment. So, so we haven't been out of pocket even for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and these were advertised, Charlie. Back that is correct. They were all advertised. They were advertised and taken, but we just sort of didn't get it wrapped up that night. Right. So did you make a motion? Yeah. 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 Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second motion. Second by Jason Bullock. Any further, uh, further uh, discussion? Being that I'll favor say aye. Uh, Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Resolution 20.3-26, or KYTC, that's Transportation, this co Cooperative Road Aid Agreement. Every year so we get our money from the state to fund our road department, we have to do this uh, every time. What's the difference in the allocation this year? Is there much? Is it wasn't too much. Wasn't too much at all? Wasn't that <coughs> Did we get as much as last year? Yeah, I think we got just a little, maybe 20, I remember right, a little bit more, but not a lot. Not the uh, six and a half percent uh, increase. No. <laughs> but we will have to roll call that since it's a... Any motions? Oh, I'm sorry. We need a motion of second. I'll make the motion. Motion for Jason. Uh, County Road 8. Second. Second by Kim. Agreement. Any further discussion? And by the way, this will be passed around for y'all to sign as well. Nick so. Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. All right, everybody sign where it says yay, please. Yeah. Yeah. Drop down there. Yeah, you'll be paid, yeah. she'll be passing that around. While she's sure. doing that, while, while you're getting that sign, let's go ahead and do it. I gotta do a library board appointment. We done one the last meeting, and here we have another one now. Uh, and I, I put a, a Jennifer Porter, and I'll need a, a roll call on that. 
McKay? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnston, obviously. Yes. Cadillac? Yes. Morgan? Yes. Okay. So, uh, the Jennifer Porter Thank is, you. is, uh, is, is she's already on it, by the way. She's a rear point. Rear point. What's the water going through? We know how to. Uh, that's a good thing. I'll kick into it. See if there are any. We did one January, if you remember. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the extension office has submitted their budget to us, uh, and uh, we have to. We, I don't think we approved the budget. We just approved the tax rate when we get it. But we acknowledge that they gave us that they gave us their uh, budget. Have you got the tax rate yet? From them, we, we did it some time ago. We don't have anything new on them. It'll be later this year. But they are not looking to increase it. They don't do it fiscal year like we do. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, maybe it is right. I thought they did, don't they? Yeah, those that happen in but August. But this is just their budget. This isn't their August budget. or September. But they're not intended. They had a significant increase in uh, revenue due to the, uh, well, the little, they, they got the barrel tax. It pushed them to where they're in good shape. And they're uh, a, a small amount of the total budget anyway. So could I have a... Uh, motion to uh, accept the uh, extension office's budget. So moved. Motion by Larry. Second. Well, first question. What is, so what is the carryover from previous year? Not not certain. Is that their? You just don't spend it all. Okay. I don't see There's no way to appeal what uh, Senate done on that whiskey thing, Mr. Judge. I wish we could. Uh, well, in a way, there is. We can, we can, uh, we can go to lobby the general assembly next year to uh, reverse it. They pushed it way out there as far as phasing it out. And uh, I will say about that, about the barrel tax, uh, Scott Lewis, our state representative, and uh, uh, Senator Meredith, their senator, they really fought hard to uh, to defeat that. So we appreciate them. Some other uh, friends that we had, we thought was going to stick with us, some that did not. Was they, it was it close? Do you know it was very close. Very close. Very close in the house. Okay. And uh, uh, leadership, the Republican leadership in the house, uh, twisted the arms of some of the uh, representatives. And that that's I'm not upset, not you know, but that's the way. That's why business is done in Frankfurt. So, to so it phases out after twelve years. Yeah. So Larry's, how does that happen, though? Is it like, is it the same? Is it phased out percentage each year? Yeah. We, will, I will get that to show exactly, but we won't even notice it beginning because ours is getting older. Ours will increase again for five years. Yeah. Ours just keep going up. Then it'll start going down. Then it'll be gone. But the school system will be here because they got a big chunk. Yeah, they did. And we will, we can, you ask if we can appeal it, yes we can, we can, uh, it was very close, we'd go back and try to get the house to put a bill to reverse it and, uh, that's in January and February, yes, yes, January. Larry, I think they put something in that bill for a way for the school system to make up what they were going to lose, but seats they did in the fiscal court. Taxing other seats. Well, what about the counties? They put the seats, they increased the seats money or something, or they're not going to. Their seat money, they're, yeah. Well, they're not going to do away with all of it. It's because it's supposed to go back to 2018, 2019. That's what we're being paid now. Because the seat money has been down anyway. Right. Yeah. But now they're wanting to, they're holding, going to hold it, they said, instead mm -hmm. of us having uh, to say how many students we actually have. Because if you yeah. look at the school. Well, see, so yeah, this is the first year, yeah. and it, we've been our false numbers, and this is the first year. I feel like things will drop a little bit. Yeah. You know what we did do? We got off subject, uh, but that's okay. It's all right. I did tie in though because I, because I brought it up that that's why the uh, 
uh, extension office wasn't going to have to raise their taxes. So I did. So I would like a, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Okay. Uh, the sheriff uh, it has uh, submitted a uh, request to surplus a back military backhoe. It's a John Deere 610C. Uh, it's from the military, and uh, and he requests that the funds received will be applied to the sheriff's department capital outlay. Uh, so. I guess he's selling on good deals, Charlie. Yes. Uh, so, so moved the motion to motion allow JC surplus though. Second, second will I go for you. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Okay. Opposed, uh, like so. Motion carried. Now we have some personnel issues quite a bit tonight. First is we're really uh, looking forward to this person starting to work. It's the road department. It's a, it's for an open position. I mean, we're not adding them. Jared Allen, he'll be a grade two full-time, pay rate 1840, the road department. So just roll call that. Effective day 411. No, that's court day. It's 416. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Kelly? Yes. And this is the uh, uh, Senior Center Substitute Meal Driver at 1153. And will only uh, work when others are off, so there's not any added position either. So, Rose Etherton. Effective. Yeah. Four two. We, I did an executive order because they had to have her on the second of uh, second of the uh, of the month. <clears throat> so, okay. McKay. Yes. Block. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Markey? Yes. Okay, get the other hires and I've got one status change. Uh, oh yeah, down in the arch office, the administrative assistant gave notice kind of quickly and we had to move quickly on, find somebody. So it happened that, that the advertisement for it hadn't gone out that long ago, so he pretty much just went to the next one in line, brought her in, and I had to do emergency order on her on 4 2 as well. And that her name is Donna Duff Lear, administrative assistant, Arch Office, 1557 per hour. Okay. I said 4 2. Okay. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. This other one was just a status change. She's already working here. Uh, Corey Tennyson at the uh, park, the event coordinator, which is already full time. We're moving her from level one to level two, which increases her pay from 11.53 to 12.12. Effective 4.9. And that's already budgeted. She, she, was that the new, when we put in the budget, the new full time? It's not the new full time, but in no, the budget. No, that'll be next. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morgan? Yes. We're ready for committee reports. I know one that met today. Uh, Jason, you want to just give us a really quick update on that? Just a quick update. We're gonna meet again. We're gonna meet again probably in two weeks, if that's okay. Four o'clock. Uh, I know Kenneth is on the committee and myself and the people, but there's still some things we want to look at to make sure that if we do this, it's you know up to 
And we're not ready to run the ad either, correct? We're not ready to run the ad just yet. We, there's a couple things Justin brought up and Michael brought up and a few other people that we want to look into just to make sure the wording's right or, you know, the cost and some of these things and uh, a couple and, things we might change. And I tell you what, I so appreciate that y'all worked on that and uh, I, said, I heard how serious you were. They tried to cover everything in it and that's why, that's why things are so much better going to the committee and having time to look at it but instead of just bringing it straight here. Uh, and I appreciate you guys are serving on that committee a bunch. That's all I have. Any other committees to report, have a report to make? Have any other committees met? Uh, if not, uh, before I poll the magistrates, I want to say thank you, uh, Mayor and Councilman from Fordsville and school board folks that are here. And, and I guess, all, everybody, I really appreciate you coming and being here. Uh, I'm gonna to go to the magistrate's comments and requests. We're gonna start with Michael McKinney. No comments at this time for the first district. Uh, second district. You know, I don't think what Helen said in her prayer is just that, you know, Nashville, Louisville, our country, just keep them in prayer. There's a lot of, a lot of mean stuff going on and uh, just, uh, just love, uplift those families and uh, pray for them. Yeah. Larry, when are we going to get back on the water down on the Sugarville Road? I mean, it's it's all in the process. The water district has it, and someone had asked him to ask him to uh, do that other alternate plan and see if they could find extra money for it, apply for another grant, things like that. So it's all in the We're, all, we're going to start work with what we got there, correct? Uh, I'm thinking that, that this court asked uh, uh, Mr. Hickman to, to uh, check that other one out first, check, see if he could find money for the other part of it. Could, but, we, could we have him come to the next meeting? Yes, kind of, let's do that. How long will we, will we get before we have to send that money back? I, I, I will answer that question for sure. It's not real quick. It's not really in there. But we sit back and keep dragging our feet. Yeah. And so, let's go back to them. We ask them to come to the next meeting. It goes through a process with grad, too. And I don't think they've actually turned it loose totally yet. Hey, I did have one thing. I'm sorry. That meeting is 4 o'clock the next, uh, what is the two weeks from today? The 27th, the 25th of April at 4 o'clock in the same room. Hopefully it won't be as long. I did, uh, I thought maybe you want to ask Olivia or Adam to come so they could, you know, have any questions about the stickers and how they would administer that. Yeah, I'm going to look at I asked. Well, uh, Adam was actually to be there. He'll be there. He had an emergency to work on, so he couldn't. He planned to be there today. Yeah, we had to write a search warrant during the meeting, so. Um, that's all I got, Judge. Okay, thank you. Uh, Justin? No, Judge, thank you. Anyone else have anything for the good of the If not, then well, me. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I tried his polite and professional as I can, but I'm really upset over this. I'm not going to embarrass an individual, but I called 10 times, never called me back. So I can tell this thing is one-sided. You guys are going to push this ATV thing through. You could care less what we think out there in rural area. But I, I you guys are going to pass it. I can tell you're looking for any avenue you could get this thing through. But hopefully, thank you again for Larry for being the one that stood up for us. Thank you. You have a good day. Anyone else have anything? If not, just move the